what's up everyone saying it's your boy Summon Explorers back again I'm here today in a new place I'm in Chesterfield and in today's video I'm going to be exploring the Peak District by bus it's the last day of operation of this bus service it's the last day before the clocks go back and I'm making the most of the day out waiting for the bus we're going to get on the bus and we're just going to cut about the Peak District we're going to visit some new places see some rocks and hill formations and just have a day out yeah let's go bus stop is over there the bus is due in a couple of minutes so let's go i'm in chesterfield a town in the east midlands located around one hours 45 from london and 15 minutes from sheffield i'm here to get the peak sightseer a network of sightseeing buses operated by stagecoach allowing people to explore the beauty that is the peak district admittedly this is my first time in this part of the world and i had made it a mission to try out these buses before the end of the season matter of fact it is the last day of the season the peak sightsee has operated in the summer season since 2023 originally starting as one circular route competing against local operator hullies of baslo who had their own open top route that year the peak sightsee with support from the local council proved popular and this year two services have run much to everyone's delight and now it's my turn here's our first bus for today not an open top but we move a number of services both link Chesterfield Railway Station and the southern suburbs of Sheffield to Chatsworth House, the hub for the service, with some continuing on as part of the tour, allowing for an easy link to the services and the villages the services reach. Our first service is the 1102 into Chatsworth House. A day ticket for the site here is £9.50 for adults, £5.50 reduced fare and £25 for a group fare, with a 48-hour ticket available. And from what I remember correctly, some sort of discount is available if you have a ticket for Chatsworth House. Off we head, we leave Chesterfield Railway Station and make a circuit around town before heading on our 35 minute journey to Chatsworth House via Brampton and Baslow. Time to enjoy the views. We arrive into the village of Baslo, where we can connect onto the number 218, operated by TM Travel, which links the area to Sheffield City Centre year-round. The 218 runs along some of the same sections as the sites here, but can get very busy at times, knowing that it's part of the £2 bus fare scheme. Right, it's time to head to the house. Just look at that approach into the grounds. Chatsworth House is a Grade 1 listed stately home located within the Chatsworth Estate, home to a 105 acre garden, 1822 acre park and farmyard amongst other things dotted about. The house itself was completed around 1570 and now houses an art collection that spans 4000 years with over 25 rooms open to the public to have a cheeky gander and explore the place. So that's us here at Chatsworth House. Chatsworth House is right behind me there. Look at that, look at that. The bus we've just come off is there. The next bus is down there. And we're basically just gonna do a circuit of these two bus routes. We're gonna get on the blue, we're gonna head up, come back down, and then we're gonna get on the red. And we're gonna do that. Make the most of the day. Sun is shining, but it's a bit cold. 
The peak sightseer is based here, with it being the terminus of the two routes, the red and the blue. The red is a circular route that travels via Pillsley, Hassop Station, Bakewell and Ashford in the water before returning to Chatsworth, with a total journey time of around 50 minutes and runs every 30 minutes. The blue runs up to Mam Tor and Blue John Cavern up at Castleton via Baslow, Carver, Grindleford, Hathersage, Bamford and Hope with a return journey time of around 2 hours 40 and runs every hour. Our first ride is on the blue and we head straight to the top. The route departs back out of the grounds on our way up via Baslow up to Mantor. As we travel through the numerous villages, there's commentary that is played out on the loudspeakers which highlights some history, interesting facts, places to visit along the route and other stuff which is very handy if you are flexible on time and want to stop, want to explore, want to, I don't know, procrastinate. As the bus heads through Grindleford and into Hathersage, you get absolutely amazing views and I recommend you sit on the left hand side if you want to get the best sights and the best photos. The one thing I notice about the Blue Route is that it is relatively well connected with Northern Rail services on the Hope Valley Line, which run through to Manchester and to Sheffield. There's a number of short bridges which means that only a certain type of bus, ones with like short upper deck thingies, can fit under them. We arrive into Castleton and my days it is busy down here, a lot of folk get off here. Many people seem to want to take a hike up to Mantor, but me, haha, <laughs> I'm resting, I'm letting the £400,000 vehicle transport me up so I can get the scenic view.
as we travel along Winnets Pass up to Mamtor. Mam Tor, end of the Blue Peak Sightseer. Ah, I can't even speak English. End of the Blue Peak Sightseer. The views are popping. Look at that. Look at that. The clouds are clouding. The bus is here for about 10 minutes or so and then heads back down into Chatsworth. That's what I'm going to do. Just get back on the bus. But first, we have to take in these beautiful views. Let's get up onto the path again, man. Come on. Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oof, oof, oof. Back on the bus and back to the house. Right, so we're back at the house. My hair is a mess. I had to put my hood on because it was very windy on the way back. We've done the blue. Next is the red. We're gonna head into Bakewell. Chill in Bakewell, explore Bakewell. And then we're gonna head back to the house. Time to try out the red route. I think I might take a little break up at Bakewell and get myself a little delicacy, a Bakewell pudding, and maybe a Bakewell tart if I'm feeling greedy. Now this is what I'm talking about, yeah, this is, this is what I'm talking about, the engine, the engine, the, the, the diesel. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm on a Dennis Trident, a bus that isn't woke. It's loud, it's diesel-y, and it's my ride down to Bakewell. We arrive into Bakewell, behind a pile of traffic. It's popping, it's popping here today. It's like one of the small towns here. I remember I was in the Lake District, I think it was uh, Keswick. I think it was Keswick. It's literally every time you're trying to go into one of these small towns, because there's so many cars and so many tourists, there's always like gridlock when you're getting in. 
but it's 3 p.m. It's a Saturday. We're vibing. We're gonna get off. We're gonna spend an hour here, and then we're gonna head back into Chatsworth House, where we head on our way home. I don't know. Bakewell, home of the Bakewell Town, a very quaint village in the Peak District. Off I head for a local delicacy in the warmth. It's nice and warm in here, that's the main thing. I'm gonna get myself a Bakewell pudding. Right, I'm in Bakewell. I've done my Bakewell pudding. I've had a lovely couple of mugs of tea. Bus is in 25 minutes or so. I think we're gonna have a, a bit more of a look around Bakewell. Pop into the co-op and see if my co-op membership works there. And then yeah, head on the bus back to Chatsworth House and then eventually after that, we'll head into Sheffield. So yeah, let's explore more of the town, village, place, settlement. This year, green co-op, yeah, <laughs> green co-op. I know there's hella co-ops here, yeah, but green co-op. Will my membership work here? Got the drink. It's the same regular, you know, meal deal stuff. Interesting. Chicken stuffing. Why not? Okay, let's see if this actually works. Let's see if this works. Okay. Absolute violation. So it recognized my card. It recognized the blue cup thingy, but it didn't give me the meal deal discount. Are you serious? What's going on? I want my 4 GP back. Co op, what's going on? Right, we've not got long to have a look around the rest of the town, village, settlement, place. The bus is coming soon. So yeah, let's have a walk around. on the bus to Chatsworth Hoofs. I got chatting to some sound lads on the return journey. I was so deep in conversation, I missed out on most of Ashford in the water, which is a very nice little place. Here's some extra behind the scenes suspect clips and footage of the return back to the Hoofs.
right folks that beautiful bus is gonna head back to Chesterfield I'm going to Sheffield yeah big up you and big up Tim shout yourselves at the back of the bus because I'm, I'm I'm going to Sheffield I actually need to get a regular bus I'm gonna get the 218 yeah hopefully God blessing please God bless please give me a beautiful bus I'm gonna have my green coat meal deal and then I'm gonna I don't know get on a tram in Sheffield or something so yeah let's wait for this bus and um, see what's the chat it's stagecoach mayhem here you've got the Chesterfield bus you've got the trident going back to Chatsworth and you've got the gold going to Castleton but I'm not waiting for either of those I'm waiting for buses in 15 minutes what am I gonna do for 15 minutes I could go back to the toilet but to be fair I don't want to miss this at all yeah I don't want to miss this bus at all decent day out on the last day of the season. I'm gonna head on this two pound bus, the 218 TM Travel, Sheffield City Centre. Might get on some trams and then head on my first class train back down to London. Sun is setting, autumn, the leaves are leaving, the sun is leaving and the clocks are going back. So yeah, it's time to relax, head into Sheffield and yeah, enjoy the journey. By the way, am I going crazy or is this an ex Lothian bus? The double screens, the seat maquette, I don't know, am I going crazy? Right, thoughts. I really enjoy my day out on the peak sites here. I love the fact that there's more than one route, they link seamlessly at the same location, there's onboard commentary, and the fact that your all day ticket also allows you to travel on all the stagecoach buses in the wider area. If you're not connecting onto the routes via the train, the services into Chesterfield and South Sheffield are an absolute godsend. However, it would be nice if the Sheffield services could run a bit later, like the Chesterfield bus, and also head right into town so you don't have to pay an extra bus ticket or shell out for a train ticket from Chesterfield or Doran Totley or something like that. I hope to come back next year to an even bigger and better network, and hopefully it's warmer than it was today. We've made it into Sheffield. It is getting dark. I've just seen a tram. I'm gonna head on one of those trams. It was a nice day out in the Peak District on the last day of the Peak Sites here. Hopefully it comes back next year, bigger and better than ever. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, comment. Kofi Patreon in the description below. It's been your boy Simon Explores and I'll catch you in the next video. See you in a bit.